In my quest to help some friends get into large format photography, I got a basic question from them the other day. They said, hey, how do we mount a lens onto a lens board? It was a simple thing. It was like one of those things that you think, oh, this is simple. Everybody knows how to do it. But I can see you spend a lot of money on a lens and you don't want to wreck it. So I'm going to show you very quickly how to mount a lens onto a lens board. You're going to need a couple things before you can mount your lens onto a lens board. Of course, you're going to need the proper lens board. I'm going to show you how on a Linhoff Technica lens board. And you're going to need a spanner wrench or lens wrench as they're called. And this will tighten up the retaining ring to the back of the lens board. A few things to look out for when you're buying a new large format lens. Does the preview lever work? When you open it up, does it open all the way? Does the aperture lever work? And also, if you get a chance, can you test the shutter out? You should go through and check out all the shutter speeds. And of course, check out if bulb works. And if your lens has it, if time works, where you click it once, it stays open. You click it again, it closes. So run through the shutter speeds and see if they all work at the speeds that seem appropriate. Now, these lenses here come apart. You can unscrew the back here like this, the rear element. And one of the things that you want to make sure that the lens has is a retaining ring. This is the retaining ring on my Schneider 150 lens, and it looks like this. So this is the ring that will hold your lens to your lens board on the back of here. The one thing you want to watch when you buy a lens on eBay is I've seen on used lenses, it does not come with a retaining ring. So if it does not come with a retaining ring, you're going to have to get one built. So to mount this lens on this lens board, this is the top. You want to have the top of the lens with the shutter speed and the aperture and the caulking lever at the top. You turn it over and then the retaining ring, there's two ways that, can, that it can go on. There's actually a little lip here on the retaining ring and you want to make sure that lip is pointed down. So the first step is to put the retaining ring on the lens board and tighten it until it's snug. Now some people, they will just hold this and tighten the lens and keep holding it and tightening the lens. There's a danger in that, that you could over tighten the lens. And if you over tighten the lens, your aperture blades aren't going to move properly and you could actually damage the aperture. So you really want to have one of these wrenches to tighten this up. This is uh, a rodent stock wrench and you can see we're using a shutter number zero. This simply goes on these little notches here and you rotate it until it's snug. You want to check that your aperture can open and move freely before you put your back on. And then you also want to check that your shutter speeds are working as they should as well. You then screw the rear element on the lens and then your lens is ready to go. So that's it. Pretty simple. I carry one of these lens wrenches in my bag. If a lens ever gets loose, I can tighten it out in the field and I don't have to use my hands to tighten it. And it's as simple as that. You can uh, mount your own lenses in a lens board and I hope this helps people out. If you like this content, give me a like, subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.